Pure discretion is advised. Classic movie fans, Rick Nine G here. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about the Three Stooges. I took a little bit of time off, not too much, but just a little bit after the Christmas special, just to be able to refresh, gather myself up again, and come with really strong energy for the new videos that are coming for 2023. And I'm starting with this one. Now, this is a little bit controversial. I said viewer discretion is advised. Why? I'm going to be talking about controversial things. Remember the time and period that this takes place. Place. I'm approaching this as a historical topic because that's really, really important with discussing these three stooge shorts or episodes that are absolutely controversial. They're unaired. You may have seen one or two, but a lot of these, they purposefully don't air them because they are so forceful hitting. They are so strong that they can't even show them to you. The only way to see them is on DVD or special editions where they're uncensored because otherwise they're censoring them. So let's take a look and see why these even existed and why they were important for the time and why you can't really see them today. Keep in mind that the time is 1943. World War II is raging over in Europe and in Asia as well. And you have to think about it. The boys, the stooges, were home. They were making movies, they were making films, so that how did they contribute to the war effort? Well, they had some of their shorts include propaganda, propaganda that today may be looked at as quote unquote politically incorrect, stuff that people don't want to air and people don't want to see because they will go into a riot if they do. But at the time, it was a way to show their support for the United States and show their support or show how they are against the Germans and the Japanese, the Axis powers at the time. For example, we'll talk just a little bit about the Stooge Tokonga in 1943. It features what is considered one of the, the most violent scenes ever filmed by the Three Stooges. And you'll see that it's, I don't know, some people may controversially say that it's not that violent, I mean, compared to other stuff on TV, but it they say that it is fairly violent for that time. Another one I'll mention, 1944, The Yolks on Me. Now, this is something that they're so hesitant to air today because it is considered politically incorrect in its portrayal of Japanese soldiers. So we'll look at it. I'll show you some images. Uh, I can't show you the clips, of course, because of copyright and, of course, because of the issues with uh, what today's society may think. But again, take a look at this with that frame of lens when you're looking at it. I'm currently cataloging and going through every single stew short starting with number one, ending to 190. And I've covered you nasty spy who actually was made in 1940, as long as another one that kind of has similar tones in 1941, I'll never hile again. And those two I've covered extensively, but those are two which are fairly controversial and they don't show them on TV. But when we move on to 43 through 45, there are so many more that are actually not included that you'd be surprised to see the things that are actually in them. Now, the year is 1943. They stooge to Conga. In this one, handymen Larry, Moe, and Curly, they encounter the axis of evil when they're called out to fix the doorbell on the, an enemy spy's hideout where they discover a secret war room. You can see lots of insignia of the Germans during the time. You can also see some Japanese soldiers depicted here with gigantic false teeth. Of course, making caricatures of the individuals, which would today be a no-no. This is why a lot of censors don't like this. But also they include the most violent scene in which Curly is climbing a telephone pole. And then he has spikes to allow him to climb the pole. And one of those spikes, quote unquote, in the story goes into the eyes of Mo Howard. Now that doesn't really happen, but that's the violent effect they wanted to portray. And they just say that's too violent for TV even today. What do you think about this episode? Controversial or not? 1943 short back from the front they're adrift at sea that is the boys merchants larry mo and curly they climb aboard a nearby ship and find themselves trapped with the enemy and fighting for their lives now don't get me wrong this short is very funny because of many different jokes a lot of the physical comedy that we are used to with the stooges but i mean they get on this german ship and they have german officers on here all in the insignia 
There is a lot of salutes going on here. And the Stooges even dress in the outfits as well. This is something that doesn't really want to be shown on TV because seeing the Stooges like this, putting this type of propaganda on TV again and kind of highlighting the Germans at that time. And it is seen as very controversial as you can see from these images. What do you think? Have you seen this one before? And do you think it's pretty shocking? The next one here from 1944, The Yolks on Me. This time the Stooges may have bought a farm. Yeah, they actually do buy a farm. But sowing crops is very easy compared to what they find inside the new barn. They find escaped Japanese soldiers. Now again, these Japanese soldiers look authentic except for the great big gigantic false teeth they have and just accentuating some of their facial features with makeup and so forth again this could be seen today as something that people do not want to see remember it's exaggerating what is going on it's making fun of uh, the enemy at the time this is kind of trying to demoralize the enemy and showing that hey we are one against these individuals again during this time in the 40s and it's just so amazing to see how at that time this would be seen as a powerful thing whereas today would be seen as something that well let's just not show it at all what do you think about this one have you seen it and do you think it's pretty extraordinarily controversial in 1944, no doughboys, while on a break from modeling for an ad that has made them up to be Japanese soldiers, the students accidentally stumble into a secret hideout of German spies. You see the normal stuff here, which I've mentioned, the German insignia, German soldiers in uniform at that time, but also the Stooges themselves. They are in makeup to look like Japanese soldiers with skin color changes and everything. You can see the dark different tones, different makeup for their eyes. I remember this was for uh, an ad that they were doing because they were models, but it is clearly something to make the enemy and put them down. It is clearly propaganda and it's something that doesn't want to be shown today for fear of riling people up and making them upset. What do you think about this? I mean, all three Suges were in this gotta also remember the time in which this took place and put it into that context and finally the last example from 1945 booby dupes now the stooges go overboard when their fishing boat starts sinking and they find the airplanes overhead are not rescuers but bombers mistaking their signal for a japanese flag i mean this one isn't too crazy you know there's even some american navy soldiers that are seen here so it's nothing crazy but at the end the fact that a white rag while they're on this boat gets stained a little bit with red it's accidentally looks like a japanese flag and then they're bombed by american soldiers and a little bit at the end with a couple of costuming and things it's it's very light compared to the other ones but it's still fairly controversial and they don't want to show this on tv too regularly again have you seen it and what do you think about this one do you think it's pretty shocking is it shocking too i really want to know your thoughts and your ideas on this concept so I really hope you enjoy this video. It always interested me when I bought the entire Stooge collection and watched every single one of them pretty much back to back. I never seen these and I wonder why weren't these seen and you know why aren't they on TV and then investigated and I'm like oh that's why some people would have a problem with it some people wouldn't and so i've always been a student of history i've loved history just in general i've always looked at things like the civil war world war ii world war one I. i've enjoyed looking at military equipment filmmaking all these things and so when we look at this it's kind of a mixture of everything a little bit of history a little bit of propaganda a little bit of reality for the stooges who were at that time remember they were being paid to entertain people and so for them they weren't drafted and so the idea was what can we do to help right and the help is to defeat the enemy well we can defeat the enemy by making them look bad by making american sentiment completely against the enemy right germany and japan at that time and so this was their way their way to contribute and many people liked it and understood it at the time and it was a united force but looking at this in 2022 2023 eyes again it comes through a different context that we definitely should understand it within their context but that doesn't mean that it isn't controversial to some people so again i want to know your thoughts down below thank you so much for your support as always and most importantly everyone be hopeful thank you so much to my supporters especially my diamond tier patrons Vito l Sally N, Ricky, Kevin K, Gerard D, David D, and Citizen Kane 359. If you want your name to be heard or put on this list, make sure to check out the Patreon link in the description. Thank you so much.